Earlier we saw how you can read the documentation of Perl. Now we see how you can write documentation in the same way as uh, people who write the documentation of Perl do that. For that we have what we, what we call pod, the plain old documentation. It's basically a markup language in a way similar to HTML but very very simple. Uh, in order to embed documentation into your code. So let's see this example. This is a Perl script here, what you can see on the screen. Uh, at the beginning you see this is real code and then you will have the equal sign head one which marks the beginning of the documentation and then up till the point where we see equal cut all that is part of the documentation. Beyond that is again code. So if I take this file now and switch to the command line and type Perl and the name of the script, then it will execute the code and execute the two print statements, one at the top and one below the documentation. But it didn't touch the documentation, it disregarded the whole documentation. On the other hand, if I take the same Perl doc command that we used read the documentation of uh, standard Perl and give the name of the file as the parameter, press enter, then we'll see the documentation that was in, written in that file. So if we switch back, here this is the same documentation. This is actually very useful because that means that it won't, by mistake, you won't supply some piece of code with, without its documentation. And then you can take that documentation in the pod format and either display it the way you saw with using Prodoc or turn it into HTML or turn it into a PDF and there are various other ways. So what is in this pod? There are various little tags equal something that all have some kind of a meaning. There are very few of them, so don't worry. Uh, there are the two main ones, head1 and head2, which marks headers. So if I write head equal head1, this text is, the, is some kind of a header. It's an important thing. So wherever you read the documentation, that's supposed to be some kind of larger letters or bold or some kind of that way. Then this is just regular text, more regular text. And here you see that this piece of text is uh, indented a little bit. So there is a space here. It's not starting from the beginning of the line. This means that this text is going to be shown verbatim, exactly as it is. So, for example, code examples would be written this way. And then you can also use here like this, saying that this is uh, in bold. Here again we have a new header. It's a head1, so it's an important thing. Head2 means this is sort of less important. But this is the text in between. You can also use over 4 or some other number which provides both indentation and um, list items. So then you have item, you can say item and the star, item and the star, and these will be list items in a unordered list up until equal back. And this part is the documentation that provides you a, a list, an ordered, um, an ordered list. And then some more free text up until the equal cut. So if we switch again here, you can see that this is, was the header, this was a header, if we go down, this was the less important header, which was marked head, one, head 2. This part was verbatim code, you can't really see it here, but uh, in uh, HTML format it will be more obvious. And here you can see the list items. And that's how you can write documentation. So again, you take the, your regular Perl script and in the Perl script you can embed documentation and provide it, it will come with, the, with your score.